Hey everybody, Sean here with Zero to Income, and today I want to walk you through how to move a bunch of Chrome profiles from an old computer to a new computer when you're when you're getting set up on a new computer. Now it's relatively easy when you have just one profile; you can just turn on syncing. Let me just pop over to my browser here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so right here, um, if you click on my profile image it's going to open up and I have all these other different profiles here all right and so how do we get all these profiles from an old computer over to a new computer so here's how you do it you want to go into your file explorer open it up you're going to go down into this PC you're going to go into your windows you're going to go into users then you're going to go into your user account and it's usually going to have you like your name all right and then from there you're going to go into app data now if you don't see app data it could be that it's hidden and then you want to go into your files and make sure that it's showing hidden files uh, in this case it's open we're going to click on that then you want to go click on local okay and from there you're going to go down into google and then you're going to click into chrome all right this is as far as you need to go you need to grab this whole folder here just right click and if you're on Windows 11 you're going to do a copy and what you want to do is you want to paste that into an external drive that you can rotate to the new computer so in this case I've got this external drive here I can open it up okay so what we want to do here is going to click into here and do a new folder we're going to call this folder Chrome backup and in here what you would do is so you paste it in. Now I'm not going to paste it in because it's a it's a pretty big file for me. Now what you want to do is go over to the registry editor and you're going to export a very specific registry key. Okay, so we're going to go over here, going to click on the start menu, and we're going to type reg, and it's automatically pulling up registry editor, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And if it's a new computer, chances are um, this is what you're going to see. So you want to go into H key current user and just click on it and open it up or click on the arrow and it's going to drop it down. Okay. Once there you go into software and then you go into Google. If it's not already open, you'll go into Chrome and then here these preference M A C S preference max click on that and you want to get this whole folder. So you can right click on this and do an export and then you're going to navigate to your uh, backup drive your external drive so here I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to uh, my jump drive and then I've got Chrome backup and then here I'll just call it it doesn't even matter what you call it um, but I'm gonna call it preference max okay and you just click on save and now it's there so now what you want to do is literally go over to your new computer okay and um, so let's just say I'm done now this was on the old computer we go over to the new computer and you do the same thing you just did in reverse you go over to the file Explorer and you open it up and then you go down into your PC and you go into Windows and you go over to users you go into your user folder go into app data go into local go all the way down to Google go into Chrome now you're going to have on the new computer you're gonna have this user data folder here already if if you've installed Chrome which you know you probably should have already installed Chrome right click on it and delete it okay just just go ahead in here and just uh, do a delete all right then what you're gonna do is open another file Explorer so what I would do go to your jump drive or your external drive go into your backup and in here you're going to have that user data folder depending on how many profiles you have it's gonna be a big folder mine was like almost 30 gigs okay so it's gonna take a while um, but you just click on it and drag it over or copy it right back over to where you deleted it and so you're gonna have the new user data folder just let that do its thing now once that's all done very 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 easy to get this new registry 
uh, entry into the registrator. You don't even have to open up registrator again. All you do is you literally just double click on this and it'll automatically load right into the registry. All right. So that's how you get all of your user profiles. Now, when you go back up here, all your profiles are going to show up. All of the tabs that you had open are going to be available and open again. All of your uh, plugins you had for each of these pl uh, profiles is going to be there. And so, I mean, it's really, really handy. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you can, click on the subscribe button down below. That helps us out a lot. Have an awesome day, everybody.